Good morning, everyone. We just got the notification from Scholastic Art Awards for EHS students who won awards for their artworks this year. If you see them in class or in the halls, please give them a major high five. There are over 4,000 artworks entered in this year's Portland Metro Region. We did very well for a smaller school. These are the students that won art awards. We have Brittany Allwine of grade 9, who won a gold key in the digital art category, an honorable mention in the digital art category, and a silver key in the drawing category. Molly Anderson from grade 10 won a gold key in painting, and another gold key in painting, and a silver key in mixed media. Lexi Kava won a silver key in the painting category. Hannah Hart won two honorable mentions for drawing. Austin Floyd won an honorable mention for sculpting. Grace Hamilton uh, got a silver key for sculpture. Kristen Kyber won a silver key for sculpture as well. Lena Kozlova won a gold key in the painting category and an honorable mention in drawing. Kendra Pozzle won a silver key in painting. Samantha Purvis of grade 10 won an honorable mention in the drawing category and a silver key in the drawing category. And finally, Hannah Wood won a gold key in mixed media and a silver key in painting. Hey all you EHS students, if you see Hannah Wood around, make sure you congratulate her for winning the EHS Art Student of the Month for February. How does it feel to win this type of achievement? It's an opportunity for me because I didn't expect it to happen. That's awesome. Yeah. So Hannah also took some awards home from the Scholastic Art Competition. Would you like to explain? Sure. The Scholastic Art Competition is a nationwide competition that kids can enter their work in. We had 20 kids in our school enter and there were 40,000 entries in the competition. And I, uh, the awards go from highest being gold key, then the silver key, then honorable mention. I got a gold key for the compulsions work and a silver key for the birds paint. Way to go, Hannah. So we're here with Hannah once again. She's perfected the art of origami, <laughs> so she's going to show us a little bit. Sick dragons. Yeah, dragons, shrimp, whoops, flowers of all types. What, what do you think of Hannah's origami? <laughs> Attention sophomores and juniors, there are still lots of slots available for the exciting Engineers Week field trip. Only 10 students will be able to attend, so please pick up your permission packet in this fire office today. Complete it and be among the 10 lucky students who get to attend this fantastic field trip. Attention, all students, permissions are available for the Hatfield Career in Science Investigation Field Trip right now. If you are interested in a career in science, this is a great day-long hands-on science learning opportunity for you in Newport, Oregon. Stop by the Aspire office today to pick up a permission form and be among the first 15 lucky students who get to attend this exciting field trip. Permissions are also available for the Western Oregon University Criminal Justice Careers Day Field Trip right now. If you're interested in a career as a police officer, FBI detective, prison guard, security officer, or etc., stop by the Aspire office today to pick up a permission form for Miss Buggy. This week, February 10th, girls basketball will be facing Madras at home. JV starts at 5.30 and varsity starts at 7. This Friday, February 13th, boys will be playing home against Corbett at 5.30, JV, 7 o'clock, varsity. Be there and support your skater rangers. Make sure you wish the EHS wrestling team good luck as they head out to Tillamook this weekend to compete in the Super Regionals. They're going to do super well.